Hey everybody, it's Derek with Reef Automation and we have another video on fish. And we're going to go over one of probably the most unique fishes you can own and keep. And basically one of the more difficult of them. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so today's spotlight is on frogfish or anglerfish. Generally, you're going to see them called frogfish in the hobby. Uh, they come in a number of different sizes. They come in a number of different colors. Uh, you can see them at fish stores. They're generally pretty expensive. Uh, they come in red, yellow, white. Uh, I've seen them in green. I've seen them in brown. Um, they generally will be sold as babies, and they're about an inch-ish uh, or so and they can get to be quite large. They can get to be, I would say, roughly six inches, um, but they are robust, they're large, and just be prepared if you ever get one that you're going to need um, a good sized tank for them. They don't swim much, they generally will crawl on the ground, so you're generally gonna see them crawling on the ground or in caves. Um, they have this little thing called an esca, which is their small little fin that comes uh, down by their nose and it illuminates uh, due to bacteria actually and it lights up. Uh, generally when you're going to see frogfishes they're going to have it's going to be a little white. It kind of looks like um, fire kind of like a little candle coming out of their head and they'll stick it down uh, like this um, from their head to attract their prey. And that's another thing that we need to discuss about them. So if you ever get a frogfish, uh, you don't want to get anything, and I mean any type of fish, any type of invertebrate, or pretty much anything that is around the same size as it, uh, because it will eat it. So a lot of people will get frogfish uh, generally in their own tank. Um, you can get frogfish in a reef tank, I've, I've seen them many times, but um, if you're going to get any fish with it, they're going to have to be quite large, because other than that, uh, the frogfish will swallow them. They're also very slow eaters. Um, some people end up having to feed them live food, uh, usually ghost shrimp um, or even mollies sometimes will work, feeder fish. So when you get them you're going to have to make sure that you do have an abundance of live food. Uh, they don't generally eat frozen food, however I have seen some people that have trained them to eat frozen food. Um, it is very important that you keep them in a species only tank. I don't think it's really something you should put in your reef tank or your fish tank because as they get bigger they will start to eat your fish. Um, also they are carnivorous so I have seen anglerfish eat other anglerfish so it's generally not a good idea to house them together or multiples of um, you know two or more uh, because they generally will end up eating each other. So uh, Pretty much a quick little uh, tidbit about the frogfish. I've owned a couple in the past and every time I've owned them um, they have been pretty difficult to take care of, pretty difficult to feed. Um, so if you're interested in frogfish, hopefully this helped you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.